Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I've sat down for a video. I wanted to share with you today the 10 kind of items that I think are real staples in my summer wardrobe. And I'm hoping this will be useful for you, um, those of you going into the summer months if you're in the US or in the Northern Hemisphere. I think in my summer wardrobe this year, I've just noticed that there's a lot of linen pieces that are really coming through. I'm definitely gravitating towards more natural fibers, natural materials, a lot of cottons, silks, and generally in terms of the color palette, there's a lot of um, like neutrals, like beige, nudes, browns, like warmer neutrals. And then there are also some pops of red that I notice are coming through. So the first category that I really wanted to talk about are some linen or cotton linen blend tops. Um, I have this polka dot one from Cezanne, which I think is really beautiful. I'm gonna link all the sizes that I wear down below for reference. This is 55% um, linen and 45% cotton. It's quite a lightweight top, but I do feel like the construction of it feels very nice. This is what it looks like. It just seems like a simple, fairly boxy t-shirt almost. Um, and then you've got these little buttons at the top on both sides. There is a lot of attention to detail which I always really like about Cezanne. So if you really like the style of this, Cezanne is actually doing this top in a gingham style. And um, I'm going to link a picture of it in the screen here so you can see. But they oftentimes do sim similar things. So if you want something that's 100% linen, I would really look into this um, grana top. This grana top is such a soft linen, um, none of that like scratchiness or that stiffness when you think of linen. This is such a beautifully made, um, good quality top. What's really unique is the back, I think. There are some buttons that run down the back and it opens slightly at the bottom. So this is just a really flattering top and it's just something that's very well made and feels very nice quality. The second category of summer items are just like little silk blouses. Um, I like this one from Cezanne. It's like a silk tank. It has a fairly high neckline from the front, a bit of a ruffle at the side, um, and then the edge obviously has this darker kind of patterning. And then the back is my favorite part of the top. So it has a slightly lower back, which I think is really, really very elegant. And it kind of goes out a little bit at the bottom. I really like that there are little buttons at the back. I just think it's such a like a charming little detail. And this is such a beautiful top. The silk is that kind of satin silk, not the suede silk type. Um, it feels very lightweight and I'm happy to say it doesn't wrinkle too much. So. This is kind of a winner for me, but if you want something more simple, I know Grana, Everlane, they all do different variations. And I will link some of the ones that I personally like down below. Next thing to talk about are of course just like really simple t-shirts. But I thought I would share with you a few that I probably like the most right now. Um, I recently got this Jack and Jack t-shirt on sale, this was probably about 50% off. Um, but I know they're an Australian brand that can run a little bit expensive. But what I wanted to tell you was I really like this light khaki or taupe colored t-shirt. It, it just seems a little bit blah on the hanger, but it's honestly been really versatile in my wardrobe and I think it pairs really, really nicely with, like a, with a bit of red, um, which I really just did not expect at all. So this color of t-shirt, I would definitely recommend. My favorite is always like a bit of a scoop neck and a, and a boxier fit. Sorry, a lot of these t-shirts are Australian brands just because I find a lot of Australian brands do do t-shirts quite well. Um, this one is one by Assembly Label. It's just a striped t-shirt. Um, very simple, but you can't go wrong with a striped t-shirt. Cotton is quite nice. Um, all of these cotton-wise, I think, are very comparable and all quite nice. The last one is one I recently just got um, while I was in Brisbane last week. It was 50%, okay, it was like 70% off from Basic, which is quite an expensive brand. If, you, if, you, if you're from Australia, you'll probably know. They do very nice basics, um, but quite expensive for like organic cotton. So simple v-neck that I really like. Um, it has a bit of like a seam detail that runs through the t-shirt. It's like little things like that that make me really enjoy enjoy a style. And cotton-wise, I feel like this is slightly... 
This does feel slightly like sturdier and nicer than the other two, but not that much. So moving on to dresses, I pretty much wear like two types of dresses I feel like. Um, one of them is a wrap dress, which is definitely like a classic in my wardrobe. Reach for them for work, for the weekend, and just honestly like all year round as well. And the other category I feel like is just a nice linen dress. So going with the linen category first, my favourite this summer has been the Hanson and Gretel um, linen dress. There are some like hard parts on the side, so it almost does feel a little bit like a corset, but like super comfortable to wear. Like you don't feel it at all once it's on, but I think it gives you gives your body a nicer shape. This is the kind of dress that I think is very versatile in my wardrobe. I can definitely bring it on a bit of a summer getaway somewhere, but it's also just really nice if I wanted to dress it up for a dress it up a little bit for a night out. So, love. And the next one is of course the wrap dress, which I feel like I've shown you so many times. I just want to show a clip of the red dress with the black dress with the red patterns. Um, I really like that, but it's not as versatile in my wardrobe as something like the Everlane wrap dress, which I've worn to absolute death. It's probably not that easy to see here. I'll put a cutaway to it, and also um, they have recently released like a lot of different colors in their wrap dress, and I recently got like a long sleeve one, which I'll show in next week's video. Um, but Evelyn wrap dresses are amazing and I would definitely recommend them. The reason is that they're quite, they're a little bit more conservative than some other wrap dresses, which I think makes them more versatile, so it's not just appropriate for the beach. But I've, I also wear this to the office all the time, which is a black blazer front over the top, and I think it looks like very, very, very appropriate for the work environment. So I feel like a denim mini can be really, really versatile and classic in your wardrobe, especially in the summertime where I don't actually wear denim that much. This MIH jeans skirt, I think the fit of it is quite nice and very classic. I, I'm normally a, waist, a size 25 in denim, but I picked up the 24 just because I feel like my waist is a little bit smaller and skirts are a little bit more forgiving. Um, so the size down I think works a bit, fits me a bit better. I don't think my summer wardrobe is ever complete without a patterned, without a printed midi skirt. So in previous years, I had like a navy, navy polka dot midi skirt, and I'm not sure if you'll remember because I think I featured it in a lot of my like earlier videos. Um, so that was for last summer, but this summer I've I've really liked red. I don't know why, but the color red has just really been a, a real classic in my wardrobe. And I really liked wearing this black one from Inku, which is an Australian brand, again. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen me post heaps of photos of this skirt on Instagram. But I really like the print, I really like the fit and the cut, and love this skirt. And I would highly recommend, if you're a midi skirt girl, to go with something printed and fun for the summertime. And then going with something a bit more simple, my next category would just be that I think a linen, a linen midi skirt is quite an essential in the wardrobe. So for this option, I've gone for something a little bit more classic, so a block color, and I think my favorite one right now is the is the one I recently just picked up like last week from the brand Benroy. Um, so they're based in Sydney. They were originally from Bondi Beach, I believe. Not too sure, but I think they're from Bondi Beach, and the fit of this is just amazing. So it's really really tight at the waist, and then. It's like a pencil skirt kind of fit, but there's a slit at the side which just makes it really pretty. Um, it shows a hint of leg, but it's very like elongating and this is just the most amazing skirt. If you live in Sydney or if you live in Australia, I don't know if they do international shipping, but if you can get your hands on this and you like things that show off the waist a little bit, I would, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. The other one, if you prefer a more A-line fit, if that's what looks better on you. Um, this skirt, my skirt is from Weathered and it's a cotton linen mix. But if you're looking for a skirt exactly like this in 100% linen, I would recommend the shop Not Perfect Linen because I know their linen is so dreamy and the style of it is, I think, exactly the same. Moving on to the last two items, which are kind of just like random miscellaneous things. Um, I thought I would share with you my first ever purchase from Reformation. The item from Reformation I wanted to talk about today was just the swimsuit. So I know they still make this um, style in a different print, 
but I actually managed to get mine on Farfetch on like a really really good sale. I think it was under like probably 70, 80 US dollars or about 100 Australian dollars. I'm, I'm just honestly really drawn to red when it comes to swimsuits. I always think it looks really nice at the beach because the red is such a like a pop of colour from the blue and the white of the sand, the blue of the water and the white of the sand, and it looks really nice in like photos. Um, so I really, really, really wanted a swimsuit like this. Ever since my first video on YouTube, I feel like I've been talking about like statement bold gold earrings. Um, so recently the pair that I've really enjoyed are from the brand Reliquia. I wear a lot of jewellery from this brand because I just really like, really like their designs. I follow them on Instagram. They come up with the most amazing content. And yeah, so these are what it looks like. The quality of this brand is not bad. Honestly, it is all like gold filled or gold plated things. So it's not gonna last forever, but as like costume jewelry, I think it does last very well. My This is probably my oldest pair of earrings from them. I think I've had it for close to a year now and they're looking, they're looking really good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what kind of content you want to see from me more. I'm always looking for new ideas. I do have like a bit of a content calendar planned, but definitely always want to see like what other people want to watch. Um, and that's really useful. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.